Okay, we are going to try a little experiment here. I have just installed our version 4, just installed the newest version of our studio, and that means I think that all of my packages uh, should be not working now. Let's see. Yeah, so it says I don't have anything installed. If I don't have ggplot installed, I don't have anything installed. Um, all right, so uh, we are going to try installing ENM tools and all of its dependencies from scratch here. I'm not working from a script, so I may be screwing this up or something. This is just me trying to do this by kind of dead reckoning. So first I need to install de dev tools. And there goes that and a whole lot of dependencies. And there we go. So now we're going to load in dev tools. Done. And so now we're going to install ENM tools from GitHub. So we're going to say uh, dev tools. Uh, I guess I didn't actually do the library dev tools to do this. But here we go. GitHub. And uh, let's see if I remember for repo equals Daniel Warren slash ENM tools. And then we're going to install from the, uh, the the develop branch because that's actually the newest version and has a bunch of uh, 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 improvements we're trying to make for kind of compatibility purposes. Uh, we're going to try and put it on CRAN soon. So. All right, it's downloading it. All right. That looks like it installed. We had some messages there coming from, I think they're coming from the compiler. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not really sure what those are about. We'll see if they actually cause people to screw up. Um, so we'll just try loading it in. So loading the required packages and that worked okay. Um, with this new version of ENM tools, in order to get it on CRAN, uh, not all the functionality is installed by default. So we have a lot of packages that are suggested, but that are not uh, required to install ENM tools. And again, we're just doing that so that CRAN will be happy. But because of that, some of the behavior of ENM tools will not work without running one extra function. Uh, I'll just show you what, what I mean real quick. Um, we're going to go ahead and build a quick model. See, we'll call it a mod.gam, um, tools.gam. And we're going to use some of the data that's built into, whoops, that's built into ENM tools. So we've built in data for this clade of Iberian uh, uh, of lizards, Iberia lacerda. Um, and uh, we built in a little bit of, whoops, uh, environment data too. So we're just going to build a, a GAM real quick, and uh, I think this won't work right out of the box. No, no, it, it's acting like it is. Okay. I thought MGCV, maybe MGCV is required. Um, we'll, we'll see this, I guess, um, uh, the, the issue I'm talking about in a second. So uh, let's try looking at mod.gam. Uh, there's a picture of our thing. Yeah, so that's a nice looking map anyway. Um, let's try um, one of the interactive plots. So this is what happens when you have something suggested that is not currently installed. It says the following packages are needed for this function to work but are not installed. So it's looking for this package uh, leaflet in order to draw a nice length interactive plot. So we can install if we want to, we can just install leaflet. And that'll probably also bring in, yeah, that'll bring in some other dependencies. Right, and now if we do that and we rerun this line, oops, oops, it's also looking for rgdal. I'm not sure why it didn't install that as a dependency. Okay. 
that going. Okay, now let's see if this works. Yeah, there we go. Zoom in. See how pretty it is. Lovely. All right, so we can install packages one by one as Enum Tools needs them, but that is, frankly, a pain in the ass. So we created this uh, function called install extras, and you don't need to provide it any arguments. Just type install.extras and then two parentheses, and that will bring in all the other extra packages that Enum Tools needs and all their dependencies. So it's, um, it's basically just its own call to install.packages. Um, but with the uh, package list already provided. So, uh, um, yeah, so this will take a while. But after you do this, all the extra functionality of EM tools should be available to you. You don't need to do this or that or any of this sort of stuff. Actually, just once you first install EM tools, you can just basically do this right after. Yeah. And uh, once you do that, all the functionality of Enum tools should be available. So install it, and uh, uh, then type install.extras. Uh, wait. Basically, this should be all you need to get going with everything except for Maxent models. So I'm going to try to install Maxent in a second and uh, 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 see how long that takes and see um, if we can sort of work through that process. All right, now we've got all those other packages installed, so all the extra functionality of Enum tools should work past this point, except for Maxent. So Enum tools not Maxent. Uh, and this this Iberla certificate clade species Monticola, that's just an Enum tool species object, and uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, just check my channel. There's another tutorial that shows you how to do those. I'll try to remember to leave a, a link in the description for this video. But there's another tutorial that shows you how to create these objects using your own data. Now, right, so it tried to build a Maxent model, but in order to build the Maxent model, it needs um, the Maxent jar file. And so you get an error down here, and this error tells you actually where to go to download that. So you can actually just uh, copy that and paste it into um, the web browser. There you go. Oh, and it'll actually redirect you to a different website. All right. All right, so I uh, skipped the download thing because it involved putting in some personal information and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but basically, all you need to do is take this jar file from the Maxent zip, and you need to put it in this location. So you can actually go to Finder here, go, go to Folder, paste that in. It should take us there. Right. Okay, and this is where you would actually paste that mac that uh, maxent.jar file. Once you do that, everything should work. There we go. Now let's see if this works. Whoops. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, we should also add our Java. Now let's see if this works. Oh cool, well it looks like it's running. I didn't get any Java config issues, which is 
always a good way to make your day better. Uh, <laughs> configuring Java with R can be a, a big pain in the butt, but apparently what I had working with a previous version of R uh, in R Studio still works, and so uh, uh, everything is good. Let's um, let's just look at mont.mx real quick. There we go. Um, yeah, it seems to have worked. Let's plot it. Right on. So, um, yeah, I guess it's worth mentioning at this point. For some reason, uh, if you just do mont.gam, here, I'll just clear out my plots here. Each, so we, if we look at one of these enum tools gam objects, it automatically plots the, the, uh, uh, the model or the geographic projection of the model. For some reason, Maxent models do not do that by default. It, we, don't, we don't get the model plotted by default. Uh, and it's just one of these perverse things that uh, um, I messed with this for hours and couldn't get it to work. But you can still type plot mont.mx and then it works. It just will not plot automatically no matter what I do. Um, but uh, just be aware that that map is actually in there. Um, and there is a plot function associated with it. It just uh, doesn't happen by, uh, by uh, automatically with the summary. So there you go. We went from a fresh install of R and a fresh install of R Studio um, to a, a working version of ENM tools. And we did hit a few little snags along the way, um, but it wasn't too bad. Um, it should be said that this step right here is only necessary because ENM tools is not currently on CRAN. We're going to try to get that done sometime in the next few days or weeks. And so from there, at that point on, uh, the, the procedure will just be, um, I'm also going to just get rid of these. Um, install packages in them tools, which will get in them tools from CRAN. Library in them tools to load it. And in this, install extras to install the extras. And I'm going to go ahead and add rgdal and rjava into uh, this automatic installation script. And there you go.